Army Equitation School is Captain Michael Kelly. He goes to the Minister of Defence's starboard. His combination clear in the first round. Captain Michael Kelly has had a lot of success here over the years and he goes clear with starboard 52.85 his time so that puts him to the top of the leaderboard at the moment with just two left to go. Grand Prix today. It's Captain Michael Kelly with Starboard. Yes. And we're delighted to welcome Manuela Martinelli of Fonk Staff Stud, is accompanied by Mr. Jack Doyle from the Blessing Board Show Committee to make the presentation to Captain Kelly. A great win today for the Army Education School and for Captain Kelly. Here the 12,000 euro Premier Series Grand Prix picking up 10 valuable points in the Premier Series. This is Captain Kelly's first win at the Premier Series level. He was on international duty only last week out in Drammen in Norway. And he provided the only double clear. It's very important for people to go in online and view anywhere across the globe. The footage on irishsports.tv and some of it has been streamed live as well. Very for Captain Michael Kelly. Michael, come around once again. It's a big win for you today and for Starboard. So we have readers here. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up there for Captain Michael Kelly. Captain Michael Kelly and Starboard took the SGI TRM Premier Series in style here today at Blessington Show. Join us next time when the action moves to Oma. Manuel, did you enjoy today's Grand Prix? Oh yes, very much. You have a, you've been sponsoring the competition for two years now. Yes, this is the second year, yes. You also have a long association with the Doyle family. Uh, well, about uh, more than five years, five, six years. You have some nice horses with Edward Doyle? Of course, of course. Two or three or four. <laughs> Will you tell us about the stud, Fonstown stud? Well, Fonstown is our stable. He uh, is in a tie. And, uh, well, uh, uh, we have this property since uh, six, seven years. Yeah, We are breeder. And uh, we are very happy. Captain Kelly, you took the class in fantastic style. It was your first Premier win. You must be very pleased. I'm delighted today because... Uh, the horse that I, that I rode in the class, uh, Starboard, I only got him maybe last August or September. I jumped him at a couple of indoor shows at the end of last year and I've had him going this year, I brought him away to France and he jumped very good. And this has been the, the pinnacle so far of his career with me. Uh, it, was, it was a decent enough class today, maybe not as strong as some of the other Premier Series Grand Prix. Uh, and I'm just delighted to have jumped a clear on the first round and then to have jumped clear again. I was just hoping to jump a double clear and lucky enough nobody else did that so I won the class. Was that your game plan coming into the second round? Definitely. Uh, my horse, uh, I, I'm riding him, okay I'm riding him six months but at the same time it suits me better to, to be able to go a small bit slower and maybe not take as many chances as somebody else. As you see other people went faster and had one or two jumps down. I knew if I was steady everywhere that he'd jump a clear round for me so I'm just delighted that he did that and that we won the class. Will you tell us some background to the horse? Uh, the, the horse has been campaigned before uh, with uh, Richard Kearns in Sligo and also Olive Clark. Um, and then uh, at the end of maybe around Dublin time last year, 
uh, my boss and Michael Dignan, the owner of the horse, were speaking together and it was decided that we maybe lease the horse off Michael. Uh, lucky enough, uh, the boss decided that I ride the horse and uh, he was placed in the international show in Cavan in the last year. And I'm, I'm delighted it's my first uh, Premier Series Grand Prix win with him and, and hopefully I can have a few more. Kyle Oak has always been a happy hunting ground for you with the uh, final of the Chippeson here in 2011 and also you had the National Grand Prix. Yeah, I'm delighted because uh, Chris Byrne is a very good guy and puts a lot of effort into organising shows like this one. And I know it's blessing in show, but it's his facilities and they're fantastic facilities. Also, Maureen Bagnell has to be recommended for the work that she does and the Doyles, Edward and Jack. Uh, also, uh, Fonstown Stud, uh, who sponsored the class. Uh, it's amazing sponsorship to, to get somebody to come in and give that sort of money for a class like this. Um, Kyle Oak has been very lucky for me. I've won a couple of classes here from... Chips and Grand Prix, the National Grand Prix, and now a Premier Series Grand Prix. So I, I'm just delighted because uh, the horse and myself are still getting to know each other, and it's a, it's a brilliant result for both myself and the Equitation School. You've also been away on international duty for Ireland. Can you tell us about how that went? Yeah, um, last two weeks I was in Drammen in Norway. Uh, I brought three horses with me, and uh, I ended up uh, jumping the, the Nations Cup last weekend with Ringwood Abbey. Uh, He's a horse who has a lot of experience at that height and I'm delighted with the way he jumped. Um, next weekend I go to Oma and then I do a, a show in France and a show in Switzerland with the, the horses that were away. Uh, and uh, what I'll do is I'll bring Starboard to Oma. Um, Ringwood Abbey is probably be one, of, one of my best horses and uh, I have a couple of other nice horses. I'm very fortunate this year to have a couple of better horses and also touch wood they're staying sound which is the big thing at this game that you're no good unless you're sitting on a nice horse. I'm now joined by Michael Dagnam, the owner and breeder of Starboard. He was fantastic today. You must be very pleased with the horse. Yeah, absolutely thrilled with him. The poor fellow today, he jumped great. And he has been unlucky and um, one fins down a lot of occasions, you know. But uh, today he shone. He was the only horse to jump two clear rounds. Captain Michael Kelly gave him a great ride. Michael Kelly is a wonderful fellow now and a great rider and the most improved rider on the circuit. But he, he, he's brilliant. And the patience he has with that horse and the treatment he gives him is, is excellent. And that goes for McKee Barracks in full because McKee Barracks is the, the, the greatest place you could have in a country. They do so much for the horses and they look after them and it's, it, it's a wonderful institution. You have starboard lease to the Army Equitation School? I have. That, that lease only started this time last year, about a year. Are you pleased with how it had spun out so far? Oh, I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased. Like the, 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 these army riders and the, 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 they're absolute gentry. And it's, it's great to be there. It's, it's an honour to get a horse into the army. And it's loved, lovely to have breed a horse and have him ridden under the tricolour by a, an army rider. I think, I think it's fantastic. Starboard has competed with um, Richard Cairns and also Olive Clark. Now, Richard... Uh, rode him and qualified for Lannigan two successive years and he jumped well in it, it was unfortunate in it and then um, Olive asked for the horse and she got him and she paid tribute to the way Richard had brought him on and uh, she jumped well and she won a Grand Prix here on her first outing with him that, that could be five years ago and she was second and third in several Grand Prix after that one in, in uh, Mullingar and one in Clare and uh, she, she had a great term with him. She brought him to Hickstead then, and unfortunately, the horse got cast in the box in, in Hickstead and suffered a severe injury, and uh, only for the veterinary college at Hickstead, or convenient Hickstead, that they, they did so much for him, that he might have never come right. But he has come back again, but it took a year out of his life. But he was in excellent form here today. Oh, excellent form today. But he, he had an injury. He's a bad traveller. And he, he was going to Norway this, this year to jump with an Irish team. And uh, went down on the box. Something that doesn't often happen with a horse. You hear about it in cattle lorries and about the horse. He won't travel with in a lorry. And he had to be taken off. And they had to do the journey without him. But um, he recovered. And thanks to the patience of... Captain Kelly, you know, he's, he's back on the road to recovery again. He's by cruising, and I have a mare that jumped up to 130 yeah, level with Tom Slattery. I, I, I always jumped my mares, and they jumped well. Tom Slattery was the first rider I had. Tom was a great man, and uh, he rode the mare to a, a very high standard, and 
then I decided to breed from her and I kept all my good mares to breed from them. It's essential to breed from a good mare because uh, if the dam hasn't done anything, it doesn't matter what stallion you, you, you go to with the mare, like your, your chances are pretty negative. But if, if a mare has done something or up to a certain standard, there's a great chance that uh, her offspring will be worthwhile. You also have another horse qualified for Dublin, Starlet. I, uh, Starlet, like a uh, rail teen is her, is her name. We uh, we called her the Irish name for Starlet and I called the starboard being lucky. She qualified for the six year old, she qualified with Richard Cairns in Barnadown last Wednesday. A very good mare, I think she was placed today in a show in County Sligo. I think she was second or something in a, in a 120 competition. I just got it by phone. And do you continue to breed many more successful horses? Well, I try to know, but it's not that easy. And there was such a, a surplus of horses, I didn't breed any four last year. And uh, it's because, you know, the, the numbers get very big and you have to be doing something with them and it's got to be frightfully expensive. Well, thank you very much and congratulations once again on a fantastic win. Thanks very much. Thank you.